this is a tough question right after having won a Golden Globe, but I'll do my best. Um, I think um, it's complicated and it was um, not simply good or simply bad. I think because we found ourselves in the situation we were in, I mean look, when you make a piece of art about Israel and Palestine, even if you're making it in a time of relative peace, you know that um, it's, there's, it's, a, it's a hotbed of conflict, and that's what the piece is about. So, of course, the fact that at least in the States it came out, well, in the UK too, it came out right in the middle of the last flare-up, um, I think was both horrifying and scary, and also I think an opportunity for people who want to know about what's going on over there, who wish they remembered what Hezbollah was, who, 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 who don't have the history that they wish they had on the conflict, to um, watch a show that would allow you to think about it and learn about it while it was actually happening in the world. And I also think that the show itself, and this is Hugo, and I wish so much that Hugo were here, it's really Hugo, but the show happens to have this, not happens to, has, because of him, this massive amount of compassion and empathy and thoughtfulness and intelligence. So thank God, I think, for him that this is the show that was coming out about what was happening in Israel and Palestine at that moment, that it wasn't one-sided, that it wasn't um, closed-minded, that it didn't have a political agenda. I think its only agenda was to ask people to think and feel about what was happening actually in the world. I just feel like sometimes some a role speaks to me. And a lot of times it has to do with what I was talking about actually on stage. Oh, you guys were probably here, but I was talking about the, I think all of a sudden there's a kind of um, wealth of roles for women who actually feel like women I know and feel like me that aren't a kind of fantasy of perfection um, or kind of something we wish we could be, but who we actually are. And Nessa, I mean, look, Nessa's, she's living on a kind of Greek tragedy scale. It's not the scale I live on, but she's so many things at once. She's intelligent and graceful and powerful, and she's also very confused and weak and broken. and like you know sometimes sexy sometimes not sexy she's you know she's so many things at once and i really relate to that and i so i think that's what i'm looking for in characters but in terms of playing her i mean look i use so much of myself i use every bit of myself nessa isn't me and all the characters i play are all very different from each other but i am usually exercising my own heart and my own brain and my own mind um so sometimes if someone comes up to me and says like, oh, I hated her, what an awful person you played, I think it's hard for me. <laughs> I kind of think it kind of is me. I mean, of course, you know, so uh, I just, I really do use myself.